Well, play started this morning at 9am local time. And my goodness, what a day we've had so far. We've had upsets in the very first match. The reigning European champions, Astrup and Erasmussen, being beaten by their young teammates. Well, our last match of the day will be returning to men's singles. And it features the World Championship silver medalist. Anas Antonsen, the number three seed, up against the French player Thomas Russo. Well, we started the men's singles tournaments with three players who had contested at the final here at the Denmark Open, two former champions and a former beaten finalist, and all three are through to the quarter-final stage because Jano Jorgensen won the tournament in 2010. Shrikanth Kandambi uh, won it in 2017. And two years ago, Chotien Chen was beaten in the finals. So all three finalists here at the Denmark Open in the bottom half of the draw and all in the quarter-final stage. But who will join them? Will it be Anna's Antonsen, the World Championship silver medalist last year in Basel? Or will it be Thomas Roussel from France? Well, most people would expect, with the track record of Anna's Antonsen, that he is the only overwhelming favourite. After all, he is the number three seed. Uh, but Thomas Roussel, here he is. He can cause an upset, I can tell you that reached the final of the Orléans Masters last year. And here, Anna's Antonsen was a semi-finalist here at the Denmark Open two years ago, lost out to Chotien Chen, who he seeded to meet in the semi-final. But, of course, he needs to win his second round match and a quarter-final, and so does Cho Tien Chen need to win a quarter-final before that uh, can happen once again. He was a quarter-finalist last year, lost out to Victor Axelsson, who is not competing this year. He had minor ankle surgery. And therefore is out for the rest of this year because this is the only major tournament for the rest of 2020 as far as World Badminton is concerned. And major tournament, I'm talking about major World Tour events. Well, it's the first tournament for all players since the All England Championships, but it has special significance for Anna's Antonsen because in the All England semi-final, he went over on his ankle, his right ankle, very badly and had to retire from his match against Chorty and Chen, who was then beaten in the final by Victor Axelsen. Well, Thomas Roussel is 29 years of age, born in Rennes in East Brittany in northwestern France. Currently 59 on the world ranking, but did spend four weeks in May last year at 43 in the world. Two titles to his name, Peru International of 2015 and the Polish International Challenger a year later. He beat his teammate, Luca Klebo in the first rounds. Actually came from 4-10 down in that second game and went straight away through to... 18-13, so 14 of the next 17 points and eventually closed it out 21-16. But it was really quite an extraordinary second game. I saw some of that. So to Anna Zantensen, the number three seed, the 23-year-old from Aarhus, went back up to his career high of three the week after the All England and since then the world rankings have been frozen. Gold medalist at the European Games last year in Minsk in Belarus and was silver medalist at the European Championships in Kolding three years ago. Beat AJ Jayaram of India in the first round. That in fact was yesterday at 21-12, 21-14. Reached the final 
of the Indonesian Masters at the start of this year, January this year, where he lost out to Anthony Ginting in three games. In fact, he had been the defending champion at the Indonesian Masters because he caused a sensation at the start of 2019 when he beat the world number one, Kento Momota, in that final in Jakarta. And in fact, when he won the final in Jakarta in 2019, he became the first European player to win any title in any discipline at the Indonesian Masters. So quite a feat for this young man. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Ennis Antonsen, Denmark. And on my left, Thomas Ruxel, France. Thomas Ruxel to serve. Level. Play. So, Thomas Roussel. Well, France nearest to us getting this second round match underway against the number three seed Anas Antonsen. Yeah, good defensive shot from the day. Silver, one, love. Well, already got. Service over, one, all. Three Danes through to the quarterfinal stage of the men's single discipline. But on paper, Anna's Antonsen is perhaps the one of the Danes who most people would reckon can be the first for 10 years to win the men's singles discipline on home soil. Service over, two, one. So the second meeting between these two players, the only previous time they met was four years ago. And Antonsen was still a teenager then. That was in the last 16 of the Dutch Grand Prix. Antonsen winning 9 and 18. Four. One. That's a nice shot. Yeah, good angle from Russell. Service over. Two, four. Oh, well, the net board badly deflected the shot, making it land well out. Six. In fact, I'm not even sure if it went over, two. did it? Oh. 
be able to go over. That's delightful. My goodness, he was quick onto that. And then just guiding the shuttle across court for the winner. Seven, two. Nothing fancy, just simple guiding the shots out of reach of his opponent. Just wide. Service over three seven. Oh. Kenny Jonasson, the coach of the Danish team. Oh dear, that's loose. Yeah. Service over, eight, three. Nine, three. That's a good flick serve. I'm on the line. Perfection. Uh, the hesitation, didn't know whether to play it or not. So, but it means that the number three seed has an 11 3 lead at the mid game yeah. interval. Good job, I've got the four bane. Did a little end trip the hill to so little snout. Seven, nine. I think that as a end to push a hand in a mere hot run, they like all to a tight net. I was a pro at the end. Det er en trit fra det. Så vil han ikke spille bagbane. Nej. Kort 120 seconds. Jeg tror, han kom for et besked på at stole på at skulle løfte den væk. Eller den trit, ikke? Ja. Der er en løb en retour, avec de la hauteur. Og han har ikke været violent der. Der, hvor han har været violent i attack, det er, når han har løbet tendu. Okkert? Autorise toi, der er en god løbet at konstruere, at fikse, at passe over fond. Là, pour l'instant, on ne doute pas, il a une bonne longueur. Oh, that's a lovely smash. Well, I have a feeling Sorry. early on in that Four. rally that Antonsen could have left a shot down his forehand side and it would have gone out. Now that's a wonderful smash from Roussel. Brilliant. Uh, threaded it down the line. Antonsen. Service over. 
Yeah, immediately apologises for his good fortune in the net cord. 13, 4. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, clever play from Roussel. Five, 30. Can we come here? Thank you. Yeah, it's unusual to see him dive for a shot like that. I wonder whether they're pushing off from that previous ankle injury isn't quite yet 100%. Well, he's challenging that. If that was in, that was perfect. Couldn't have placed that any better. with the challenge from Roussel. It was perfect placement. Look at that. Challenge Couldn't have successful. walked over there and put One it down any better than that. Remaining. Service over, 14-5 play. Yeah, well worked. Sardi Silva, 6 French coach. hesitation I think perhaps the fact that Roussel may have thought that his opponent was going to leave the low serve Shot to finish it off. Sixteen seven. One down the forehand side, and clips it down an acute angle down the backhand side. Welcome to the change of officials for the last match, and it's on court number two. Seventeen seven. Service fault called, but the serve was out anyway. 
Cruz is out on two counts. That's beauty. Absolute beauty once again. Well, the first time they met, the only previous time they met, the opening game score was 21-9. I wonder if we're going to have a repeat of that. Landed well in. Didn't take into account the drift. 20, game point. From right to Nine. left, which means that one stays in. Game point opportunities. Indeed, we do have the same score line. 21-9, as we had the first time these two players met. Extraordinary. 15 minutes for the opening game. 21-9 in favour of the number three seed, Anas Antonsen. Ja, vis vigtigt det er den her del at lige være skarp på at, at sideændring, at der er lidt anderledes bid i bolden og så videre ikke? og han kan også gå ind og du ved at løfte lidt hurtigere på hvis han kommer højt på forbanen over ja. men stadigvæk hans koncept ændrer sig jo ikke det, det ændrer sig ikke at det er stadigvæk at altså, han skal være den aggressive spiller nu har han godt nok prøvet at flytte den lidt rundt men altså, du har også slået den ned Det kan du også gøre over for den her side, så, så jeg forudsøger stadigvæk, at det bliver den her aggressive, at han vil prøve det igen fra starten af. Ja. Så det er så baglinjen. Så må vi gøre det svært for ham at gøre det. Så ja. lige, lige nok, altså, så, lige, så, så, skal, så skal du endnu længere frem tidligt, således at, du ved, at han kommer længere ned, så han ikke kan pumpe Skærpe det ind på de fælde første, ikke også? Fordi at, at det er ham, der leder efter alle løsningerne. Ja, det er ham, der leder efter alle løsningerne. Ja. Son revers, il est en train de la taper droit, elle est en train de partir sur du croisé. En tout cas, plus loin entre les deux. On est beaucoup allé sur son revers. Je sais pas si c'était euh, ce que vous Pas trop. Il manque la pression, je crois. Ouais. C'est le bel droit surtout en fait. Ouais. Mais vu qu'il est là, il peut se croiser. C'est quoi donc C'est quoi Bah, il va chercher ton côté tout droit. Donc, t'as essayé de prendre des options quand tu l'as. So, one game to the goods. World Championship silver medalist. Anna's Antonsen. Oh, that's a good start. Sharp smash once again. One love. Look at that net shot. Forced the short lift and therefore the opportunity to play the winning smash. Well, I think Russell has to start 
doing something to hurt Antonsen. Hurt him tactically. He's been too reactive at the moment. Not proactive enough. Well, that's better. He's putting him under some pressure, dictating the pace. Yeah, and a different outcome to the rally. Service over. One, two. Oh, yeah, what's that? Little tweak on the ankle. That's a great lift. Overcommitted coming forward, Roussel played himself into trouble. Service over. What, Three. How he's looking Two. for the net. Can't afford to do that against the world number three. That's nice. How many times have we seen him play that cross-court smash for a winner from around the head position, Antonsen? when he was Service off balance. Over. Three, four. Good left again. Six. Three. Look at that plum on the line. Much more positive play from Roussel. Four, six. Oh. Yeah, just didn't really take any, or certainly not enough initiative in the opening game. Roussel dictating the pace in that last rally. Thank 
four, six. Well, just proving that he can play winning smashes, whether it's from the round the head position or from his deep forehand corner. And that's a, a lovely angle. Oh, service fault called too high. They're both being called for too high on their serve. Mm. Well, it's obviously very difficult for us to tell what is 1.15 metres above the floor. But it didn't look particularly high to me. Ah, oh, that's just wicked. Service over. Eight, Took it late five. and plays the perfect net shot. That's oh, just fantastic. Nine, five. Yeah, it's lovely. Certainly, in my opinion, Antonsen Ten. commanding the front Five. of the court, and that's an area where I think Roussel perhaps has to work a little. Get his net play a little better, tighter spinning net shots. Oh, here we go. Wait, what a net battle of that occasion. Service over. Six. Oh, it's a ten. psychological battle as much as anything. It's gone long. And Antonson goes to the mid game interval with a five point advantage. Having already won the opening game. Yeah. Most important is that we must do all the things that need to be done. So that as a best keeper, we are on kick where he stands. His only chance is to try to get the ball and then press the tempo up and then pump it so he can come in with an attack where he is not bad. Bad away. Kort 1, 20 seconds. Ja, lige nøjagtigt. Den der på, og så over ham, så bliver der plads. Ja. Det er der, du sagde, som du sagde før, han er kollet foran, og der er der. Det er der, det 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 er der. He's quick to get behind that, Antonsen. Roussel caught at the back of the court here. He's off balance. He goes for the drop shot, but Antonsen had anticipated it. Yeah. 
Service over. Seven. Well, third. I was a little concerned about Antonsen there. Seemed slightly slow. Yes, and he's holding his right leg up after that dive. I do hope he hasn't just jarred that right ankle again. Look, he's just lifting that right leg. And a little bit tentative on his movement afterwards. Seven, thirteen. Oh, that's a wasted serve from Roussel. Considerably long of that back line. Oh, that's a good return of serve. Eight, forty. You've got to take those opportunities. Eight. Can't afford to make an error when you've taken it early like that. Oh, that's nice. Back commanding the rallies again, Antonsen and Russell. Has got to try and change that around. So he's doing all the reacting. He's just reacting to whatever Antonsen is throwing at him. He's overdone it. Uh, it's a good rally. Yeah. 10, 17. Yeah, he knew immediately because there was no movement from Antonsen to get back to get himself in position. His in case the next one came back, he obviously knew that his was going to go out. Caught several times with the flat push down his backhand side has Roussel.
Yeah, it's caught again. He's got to sort out how he's going to get out of trouble in that deep backhand corner. Roussel. Yeah, just long. Oh, my goodness. Wild one from around the head position from Roussel. And that means that there are eight match point opportunities for Anna's Antonsen. One will do, 21-9, 21-12 in 35 minutes. Impressive performance by Anna's Antonsen. Well, he's only 23 and he's through to his fourth quarter-final here at the Denmark Open. Is uh, this young man from Aarhus. Confirmation of that score, 21-9, 21-12. Thirty-five minutes. Well, as he takes leave of centre stage, he will be back tomorrow, where he will be playing against Jan or Jorgensen, the last dame to win the men's singles discipline here at the Denmark Open. Well, what a day it has been! Big upset in the first match with the European champions going down to their young teammates. Then it was uh, women's singles and Nozomi Okuhara, the beaten finalist from last year, simply too good for Jordan Hart of uh, Wales. Uh, then in the men's singles, uh, the 2017 winner, Kidambi Shrikanth, beating the Canadian Ho Shu in two straight games. The winners of this title from two years ago, Fukushima and Hirota, uh, they cruise through their match against the Germans, Effler and Hertrich. Then in the women's doubles, it was European Games silver medalists Birch and Smith who overcame the young Danes, Meland and Raun. Then Mia Blickfeldt had to come from down in the second game against the left-handed French player. 11-16 down, in fact, before winning it 21-19. Chor Tien Chen, beaten finalist two years ago, the current world number two, uh, beat Nat Nguyen of Ireland in two straight games, 42 minutes for that. And then it was Kenta Nishimoto, the Asian Games bronze medalist, uh, beat Brice Lavades, who had been a semi-finalist here four years ago. Then uh, the former champion, Janor Jorgensen, in his last ever international uh, tournament. Well, he's booked his place the hard way against the 19-year-old Lakshya Sin from India. He's through to his eighth quarter-final here at his home event. Hans Christian Wietinghus looking uh, to reach his first quarter-final did it also in three uh, games uh, against uh, Lakshya Sen. I do apologise because Jano Jorgensen beat Popov, didn't he? Then it was uh, Karolina Marin who beat the young Dane uh, Christofferson, the world championship uh, silver medalist in the junior event two years ago. Then Matthias Christiansen and Alexandra Boa of Denmark uh, overcame their teammates in what was a tight, tense and sometimes tetchy affair an hour and 19 minutes for that. And as we've just seen, Anna's Antonsen, the World Championship silver medalist, for beating Roussel in two straight games. So that's it for today. Quarterfinals tomorrow, a little later than today, 2 p.m., Local time, that's 1200 GMT. So from Morton Frost, from Steam Peterson and myself, Jill Clark, 
We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>